It's nice to see everyone back this semester. Our first lesson is going to be on acceptance. Acceptance is a big thing in our community. Most people's biggest fear is rejection. Next class, I'm going to get your views on community acceptance. believe this and to make matters worse my mother would not even care if I lived on the streets here or the ones in New Orleans I I just don't know how to say I'm homeless but I guess I just did I will stab you with it this really supposed to scare me you ride you in my house right you ride this in my surroundings what are you doing here I decided to go camping. No, man, this really ain't the best place to go camping. This is a real crazy neighborhood. I've been living here for 10 years since I lost my job at the chicken joint. You really don't want to be like me. You don't want to be living out here just stuck. I don't have anywhere else to go. Well, you know what? Since you don't go to sleep, let me do something to be warm with. Play with that ugly bunny. Yeah, like I never taught you anything. Mommy, you want to see my cousin? Didn't I tell you not to call me that? My name is Tanya. You need to be down there learning how to take care of yourself, because I'm not going to be taking care of you for too long. But who's going to take care of you? That's what I'm talking about. All that attitude. Better call God, because <laughs> that's the only person who will. Right here. You know, it's your second year in college. You know that. And, you know, it, it's time for you to go. I've raised you since I was 15 years old. <laughs> it's time for me to live my life. It's time to go. Stop, make a decision. That's it. All right? Make a decision. Yeah. 
I don't even know where to start. It seems like ever since I was a little girl, no one's had my best interest at heart. My dad died when I was two, and my mom, she acts like she died with him. I feel like even when I'm around her, she acts like she doesn't want me around. And people wonder why I keep to myself. It's because that's all I've ever known. God, your eyes are the only ones I need watching over me. Get up, you get a class in a few minutes. That's why you're getting dressed. You went through my stuff? Haven't you heard of a thing called privacy? You don't have any privacy out here. Hurry up, get yourself, get dressed, and get out of here to go to class. campus last year? That was last year. This year, I lost my scholarship and now my mom is living her new life without me. Well, I, I hope to see you in class. Yes, ma'am. Today, we're going to continue our discussion on acceptance. Ms. Hopper, what if your own parents don't accept you? We can't always going to worry about who's going to let us be a part of their community. That's not real. What's real is understanding we can't control every part of our struggle. Like Shea Guevara said, we must struggle every day so that this love for humanity becomes a reality. You know, we get too comfortable with life and upset at abrupt change. God gave us the right to accept life for what it is and the power for us to define it for what we want it to be. That right and power must be exercised no matter what life throws our way. But before we accept anything else, we have to be able to accept the challenges of reality. You're exactly right. The step after facing your reality is making sure you set up a stable community to help you conquer all of these challenges. That's it for today, class. You've been acting real strange, Shady. You weren't as nervous as like this last year. What's that? I don't live in the dorm anymore. Wait, what? Who's this? What is he talking about? Um, so, yeah, I lost my scholarship, and last night, since I can't afford to live on campus anymore, I spent the night in the man's house and met Terrence. Okay, thank you so much for helping my friend out, but I'm here now. We appreciate it, but I'll take care of it. Thanks. Thank you for everything. I'm really glad you told me. Like, seriously. But we're going to figure this thing out. We're going to go to my dorm, talk to someone, and we'll be okay. Hey, 
Hey, Miss Hi. Hi. Good to see you. It's nice to see you, too. Um, we were wondering if you can help us with something. So, now you're kind of need some place to stay. So, we wanted to know if you can help anything. About that. No need to worry about that. I have that taken care of. Naira, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> nice. Wow. Well, I guess I'll see you later. You okay. can come to my room if you need me, okay? Okay. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye. Follow me, Naira. <laughs> Wow, and it's furnished. You decorated it. Why? Well, it was the right thing to do. Plus, everyone deserves an opportunity to be accepted. Well, I'm going to let you finish enjoying your room. Hope to see you in class tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. <laughs>